Hi, this is Luca Geroli with Direct Out. Today we are introducing a new training course called From Zero to Show. And then it's about to direct out smart audio platforms managed and powered by Globcon. Those are chapters coming from a training course that really happened in Canada a bunch of months ago. Still absolutely valid in terms of content. And it is about how to create a festival template from scratch. You have to do that in order to manage your festival? No. You can download Globcon for free in the link in the description. And you can start using immediately the festival template. But the training course is all about how to create that from the scratch. In that way, you can really understand chapter by chapter, all the way through from zero to show, how to create and customize the performances of your smart audio platforms from Direct Out, powered by Globcon. The training course has been made when the real smart audio platform available was the Prodigy MP, which is still the case. But today we also have Maven, which is addressed to a little bit uh, smaller environment. Also for Maven, you can start with a factory template for festivals. And the training course chapter are absolutely valid for any smart audio platforms from Direct Out, whether it is the Prodigy MP, the Prodigy MX, the Prodigy MC or Maven A. Enjoy the training and give us feedback in case you liked it. So I want you to think about the Prodigy MP like a big device, a tank of audio solution, which has a bunch of input, a big matrix, any input can be routed to any output, and a bunch of output, any format, anything in between can be cross-patched, DSP, manipulated, you know, you can do whatever you want. But wait a minute. If I'm getting in with an anti-48 kilohertz and I want to have a MADI 96 kilohertz, then you have a problem. You have a problem if you don't have the Prodigy. But if you have a problem, if you have the Prodigy, you don't have that problem. Because the first and most important page, and this is part of the course, the first thing that you want to set is the sync page. In the sync page, you decide who is my clock master? And what is the sample rate that I'm going to use today? Since, once again, the Prodigy has not been designed for broadcast live or anything, therefore, you must be free to decide to work from 44.1 all the way up to 192 kilohertz. And guess what? This device has been designed by Stefan Flock, the the guy which, which only think about uncompromised audio. So do you think that Stefan could have designed a system which is giving up some channel count at 192 kilohertz? <laughs> no, no way. So if I tell you that you have 32 flex channels, you have 32 flex channels, no matter if you're running at 44.1 all the way up to 192 kilohertz. If you have 32 FIR plugins, you have 32 FIR plugins from 44.1 all the way up to 192, and so on and so on. So everything is dimensioned in the way that you always have the full power, no matter what is the sample rate. It's a decision, right? We might want to change that in future when we come up with different skin, which means that uh, you want to load a different booting system because you want to maximize the usage. You know that you're not going to use 192 kilohertz, and therefore, um, you want to have the double of the FIR plugins, but you are happy to work at 96 kilohertz. It, it is not impossible, and probably we will do it, but for the time being, with the current firmware, everything is available at 44.1 or 192 kilohertz with the same amount of feature, right? That is the status of today. There's only one downside working at 192 kilohertz, and this is something that we cannot change. If you connect the MADI at 192 kilohertz, guess what? You only have 16 channels, but that's a limitation in the MADI side, not in the Prodigy. If you are connecting Dante at 192 kilohertz, you only have 12 channels. I do not even know why not 16, at least for the... But it's a strange math there, but for sure, Ravenna is, is 32 channels instead of 128, because you cut by the half by the time that you get to 96, and otherwise by the half 
if you if you double the number of the information. But we cannot do anything against that. It's the media which is reduced in space because of the limited bandwidth, but not the prodigy in terms of DSP power, you know, channels and uh, plugins and summing buses, metrics pixels and stuff like that. So here, it seems that I decided to get the clock from the network number two, important. We recently, mm, I do not know how much recently, but if you go to the set, sorry, if you go to the settings and you go to the slot, you can get, you can give a friendly name to the several slots that you have inside. So instead of net one and net two, which is okay, but doesn't remind me which kind of network, I better say Dante and Ravenna, for example. So when I get back to the sync, I know that now I'm getting the clock reference from Ravenna. Blue, the blue LED is the color coding for the current clock master. 